Welcome back guys. Today we have another holster review for you here. We actually got two holsters that we're reviewing from KCT. And uh, this one here is for the Glock pistols. As you see here, my Glock 27. What we're gonna do is step inside where we can get a better look at it and go over some of the features of these holsters. Let's take a closer look here at the two holsters that I got in from uh, KCT. Uh, as you can see here, we have a Glock holster. This one is designed for outside the waistband carry. And uh, here we have the inside the waistband carry for my MP shield. I do carry these two guns a lot, and in the past uh, couple months, I've been using these holsters exclusively uh, just to try to get a feel for them. So, as you can see here, uh, their sides are mated up well together. You pull out, it has good retention, and it gets a nice positive click when you put it back in. Can't complain about that. Same holds true over here on the shield holster. Um, good retention on both. And one thing I like about the outside the waistband carry here, as you can see, it's molded to your body. So if you're carrying it at the 3 or 4 o'clock position, say, um, it will mold in there and get about as tight as you can possibly get for an outside the waistband holster. Uh, over here on the shield, we do have Kydex clips bent over so that we can clip them in. Some folks aren't going to be a fan of the Kydex clips, but the genius of these holsters, and I don't think I brought it up already in the video, is that these holsters retail for $33. So uh, while some folks are going to want the injection molded out there uh, for $33, I don't think you're going to find any company using those. So uh, the Kydex have worked well for me. They've held up just fine through many, many draws and uh, carrying them for several days. You can see here we're starting to scratch it up just from use, and that's uh, that's not the fault of the holster. That's the fault of me uh, generally abusing stuff that I own. But uh, holding up well and I can't complain about that there the only sort of negative I guess you could say about these holsters that I would that I would bring up is sort of the fit and finish here on the top now since I got these in I actually contacted the owner about this and asked you know why is it like that as you can see here there's sort of a bevel it's beveled in both in the back and in the front I'm not sure how well that shows up here on camera but the reason for that is to add, aid I should say an easier reholstering so that way it sort of acts almost like a magwell would for your magazine when you're reinserting the gun back into the holster. If you go over to the about section on uh, KCT's web store, you'll see that they talk about how they began and they realized that basically there was a lot of holsters out there that they believed were overcharging for what they offered. So they got into the game, uh, bought the equipment, set it up to be able to make the Kydex holsters for themselves and uh, for everybody else out there to get them at an affordable price. And that's really what they did here. Um, if you look at it, like I said, I mean, it has a good solid mold, uh, carries well, it's designed well, it may have some fit finish that isn't on par with the $100 holsters out there, uh, that's absolutely true, but given that the majority of folks out there that are carrying their firearms are carrying them concealed, I'm not sure that it matters too much, plus functionally it doesn't affect it at all, and the bevel I think is actually a pretty good idea. But um, if you guys have any questions about these holsters, anything else I talk about here on the channel, you can always post below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page, but as always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and hope to see you in the next video.